good morning. Happy whatever day it is, where you are, when you're watching this. It's just one of those like pretty darn cold mornings and like the lake is, well, the pond, whatever you wanna call this, is almost frozen over. But on the day that I am filming this, yesterday was my birthday, so we watched a movie. We watched The Irishman. Have y'all seen that movie? First of all, didn't know it was three and a half hours long. We started it and then at one point we paused it. We were like, we both at the same time, we were like three and a half hours. Like who has that kind of time? We ended up watching the whole thing. I thought for sure we'd kind of split it up, but it was good. I don't know that I need to see it again, but it was good. But what a cast, Joe Pesci, Al Pacino, and uh, freaking Robert De Niro, wow. But also all I could think about the entire movie with Al Pacino was thinking about Jonah in Superstore doing his Al Pacino impression. And I, I can't shake it now. He has ruined Al Pacino for me forever. <laughs> Another shameless plug for one of my absolute favorite feel good, happy, funny shows, Superstore. You might think you won't like it. You will like it. Just trust me. Anyway, so I am about to make some coffee. <laughs> we still have some peppermint mocha coffee left over from Christmas. I kind of get in those moods where I drink about half of it and then I'm like, oh, okay, I'm peppermint mocha it out. So I'm like, I need to find someone in my family that would actually drink it and maybe pass it on. And then, I don't know, I wish they sold smaller bags. But speaking of smaller bags, we got this little holiday blend in like a kit with a mug gift, you know what I mean, that we got from like a white elephant gift exchange. And so I'm using that right now with my like little reusable Keurig cup. Another fun little side note is when we were in Disney, I did get, well, we both got two different mugs. This is one that's like a Mary Poppins one I mentioned in a recent video I've used a lot this week. I've loved for years and I finally, finally bought. But then this one, we stayed in the cabins at Fort Wilderness and I absolutely fell in love with all of it. So we loved this mug. Future Jesse here a few days later to report that we accidentally dishwashed that mug and ruined it. I am heartbroken. <laughs> I thought the back was really, really cute too. So love both of those. Actually, I think I'm gonna use this cute one. I did wanna mention early in the video, as I always do, there is a portion of this video sponsored by HelloFresh. I'm excited to continue another long partnership with them here in 2020. Also, while my coffee's brewing, we got a new couch, you guys. We also painted in here. We might paint again. Ugh, don't get me started. I'll tell you that story later, maybe. Anyway. In the early morning light, it doesn't look terrible. It's just we need, obviously, we've got work to do over here. But I love this couch. We got it at Kittles. I don't know that Kittles is nationwide, is it? I don't think it is. Regardless, it's like most of the furniture we buy, we buy at discount furniture places, but we could not find a couch we loved. And I'd been looking online, and I was like, I don't trust it. Like, I want to be able to sit in it and see. So we found this one expensive, but you know what? I'm so content, and we had so much fun watching the movie on it last night. All right, shower outfit of the day. Um, I've got my kitsch hair towel on. I've got my Ugg robe that I can't shut up about. Guys, it's amazing. I told you in a few videos how good it is. It's the perfect robe. It's so comfy, blah, blah, blah. But it's $100 on Nordstrom's site. However, so many of you guys have found it on like Marshalls Online, uh, Nordstrom Rack maybe. I'll see what I can find for like half off or like 60 bucks instead of a freaking hundred. So just saying, if you were interested in it, it is, it's perfect. Okay, I'll shut up about it. Quick little mini review. I, I feel like there's so much from Lush I've never tried. Like it was so big a few years ago and some people are total like Lush junkies. I feel like I'm still new to so much. They'd sent me some of their holiday collection a while ago, so I'm not sure that this particular scent is still sold, but the actual body lotion itself, it blended into my skin so quickly and it felt so good. I'd used this a couple times in December, but I just finished up a like Burt's Bees one that I was using. So I pull, pulled this back out to use this up. It's such a nice lotion consistency. I, I'm very content, but the smell of this smells like the blue, like Superman ice cream. It's heavenly. I'm not big on fragrance and like body lotion every time. I'd rather it just not be scented. But I have to say, uh, I am enjoying the scent. And really quickly, I want to take you into my shower to declutter these bad boys. Mm -mm, they've got to go. I tried these a couple times. You can tell they're pretty full. They dried my hair out so awfully. And it's funny because when I posted about them on, I don't know what, social media? I mean, on some social media, obviously. So many of you guys were like, uh, be wary. A lot of people don't like them. I'm like, oh, I hadn't caught that. And again, they were sent in PR. I figured I'd give them a try, but I'd had them a while. Nope, don't like them. 
it says they're nourishing. I don't see that. They were incredibly drying on my hair. I literally, the two or three times I used it, I was like, okay, nope, we're done here. <laughs> and it's funny because there's so much from Briogeo I love. You guys know that. There's like five products from them that like, even though they're expensive, I've bought them numerous times because I do love them, but those are not it. I don't know. I don't, I feel they came up with like a green apple one too or something like that. I never tried. I think I passed on without trying. And I don't remember hearing like raving things about that either. I don't know. I don't know, dog. So Tyler and I trade off in the mornings getting Gigi ready and dressed and four days a week, one of our parents watch her so we can both work. He works from home, has a travel agency. I know so many of you guys know this, but for those that don't, or if you're new to my channel, whatever, he has a travel agency that he runs that it's his business, which is amazing. And then my YouTube channel has become my job. And I realized early on the first like six months of like having Gigi, I was trying to do both. And I know there are YouTubers that do both, but, um, a, for my own sanity, I needed that time. I was so used to working a nine to five job, like teaching, I needed that time to be away and do something adult. And so we realized what six months in, we were like, okay, we need help and I need to be able to devote some time. So we hit the nail on four days a week and it's been working so well. I can get three videos up every week. I can learn a little bit more about editing each week and I can devote time to answering emails and all of those other things, you know, keeping up with my taxes and there is a lot that goes into it. So I am thankful for that. I'm thankful for our parents and it's just worked out so well for us. And we love that Gigi gets to be with family throughout the week. So it's really nice. So today she's going to Tyler's mom's, Benita's, and a lot of you guys know her through our vlogs and on Tyler's channel and our vlogs there. And so I'm taking her this morning. So right now I'm literally just kind of dummy getting ready. I'm just getting some, I got some like leave-in conditioner type stuff in my hair and then I'll get clothes on. I'll drive her over and drop her off. Tyler will pick her up later. Um, and then when I get back, I'll be able to like actually do my makeup, do my hair and stuff. But I've realized on the days that I take her over and I haven't showered yet, my whole day is pushed back by so much. You know what I mean? Just It just kind of gets in the way of the day. So. What I need to start doing, and I'm curious to any of you, I can put a little poll up in the corner. How many of you guys shower at night and how many of you guys shower during the day? Now, I don't like wash my hair and stuff every single day, but just generally when you do shower, do you do it at night or in the day? I'm kind of thinking about starting to try to do it at night because it would save, uh, well, a lot of time. But I don't like sleeping with wet hair, you know? I don't know. I just opened the bathroom door to this colorful girl. You got bracelets? Look at all that color. Uh. It's Pinocchio. Oh, goodness gracious. What are you doing in our bed? You were sleeping in your cage last night. Do you want to go see Nana? Do you want to go see Nana? Go bye bye and see Nana. Okay. Daddy. Daddy's right behind you in your room, I think. All right, so my wrinkly sweater is from Target. <laughs> it's been folded up in there for a while, and I'm like, oh yeah, it got like buried behind my sweaters, so I might need to do something with it actually. But my pants I've had for years, I don't actually know where these are from, but y'all know my favorite skinny jeans are from Target. I can link below, they look just like this. And then these boots I got at Old Navy online, they're honestly pretty cheap feeling, but they work pretty well. I don't wear black booties a ton. So I didn't, I don't know, I didn't feel like investing in a really nice pair, whereas like camel colored booties and things like that, I do wear a lot. Maybe one day I'll change my mind, but I feel like Old Navy shoes, while they might not be the most well-made, are for whatever reason on my slightly wider feet, always so comfortable. I don't think I've ever owned a pair from Old Navy that weren't decently comfortable. So, Tyler and I were both just looking at the couch in the morning light. I've said that twice now, Tyler. Make fun of me if you will. In the morning light. We really love this couch. It's like perfect because this room was a little bit longer. We just needed some. So I'm back home, I'm about to actually like blow dry my hair and do it and do my makeup before sitting down. I think to film first, I've got quite a mess of empties in front of me. I thought I just did an empties video, but then I like dumped out my bin and I was like, holy moly. The good news is that means I'm working through products, which is one of my goals, so there we go. I got my replacement phone in the mail, so if you haven't been following along, I lost my phone on our flight home last week and they didn't find it. And I'm like, okay, at this point, if they didn't find it, they're, they're not gonna find it. Someone either took it or whatever. So I reported it, blah, blah, blah. So through Verizon, we actually had the insurance for the first time like ever. We've been doing the insurance and we don't usually, and I'm glad we did, because the deductible was like $199, which was not fun to pay, but better that than buy a completely new phone. You know what I mean? So I'm thankful for that. And so it's updating and I'm so excited. 
that's all. I'm like relieved. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I'm sitting down. Tyler made us some smoothies. Mm, it's like very berry heavy, but I love that. And I'm sitting down. This is that day designer that I got at Target. I can't find a link online, but they definitely have them in store and they have tons of different kinds. And you have an entire page for your day. I really like it because for me, you know, I can put things on my online calendar, like what video I'm doing and stuff, but it's nice to be able to break everything down into steps. I can kind of see how I spent my day. Usually my schedule, I fill out as I'm living my schedule instead of like planning it out, if that makes sense. But then you've got an area for your to-do list. I love the today's top three idea because usually there are like three big things I need to get done for the day. I'm sure that's true for most of us. I just think that's really helpful to kind of see, okay, what do I absolutely have to get done? And then usually the rest of it is just kind of like easy, piddly things I need to get done. So it also has a little gratitude spot. I don't always do that. I do have a separate gratitude journal. I need to get better about doing that all the time. The tonight column, I've been using this for writing in what we're having for dinner that night, so that is nice. So for example, these are my top three things. I need to film an empties video and edit it and have it ready to go for Friday. Now you're, this is obviously recorded before you're seeing this, so this is already probably the next week that you're seeing it anyway. Um, and of course today I'm filming this day in the life vlog, so that's a part I have to get all three of those done today because I don't have another work day until next Monday and today is Thursday, okay. These are other things I would like to try to get done today. Some of the time I'll draw a little arrow to show that it's gonna have to happen tomorrow. Like at the end of my work day, if I haven't gotten it done, it gets pushed. Um, but I'd like to go on a run. I haven't gone on one in a while and it's the weather's okay. I mean, it's cold, but it's doable. I've already showered, but I need to get ready. I need to finish my profit and loss thing for this year. I've been putting it off. And just some other things I need to get done. Um, these are things that have already happened. I'm trying to set up the new phone real fast and then I'll kind of fill in my day as it goes along. My hair is done, I'm just about to sit down and do my makeup over here, but I wanted to point out this little thing of tarts. I've actually had a while and I just found it like in my little filing cabinet. It's from Florida Candles Gifts. They sent this to me a long, long time ago. This is the best smell ever, and I can't believe I hadn't finished it yet, so I'm just burning a fresh one. And this Tarte Warmer, I get questions about a lot. It, um, I've literally had it for like five years, six years. I don't even know. I've had it forever. I don't, I want to say I got it at Walmart. I've never found it again because I've had so many questions and I've tried so hard, but I do love it. But there are tons of cute warmers online and at Target, Walmart, anywhere you can find them. I don't even know if they still make this kind, but I know the idea is that they make a lot of like uh, Disney World type scents, like inspired by things. So assuming they're still doing this, I will link All this right. below. So we're getting ready. I'm not going to show you every single step because that would be the entire video. And I recently did a like get ready with me style chatty video, I wanna say a week ago. Well, at this point, maybe two weeks ago. So I will link that up in the corner there if you are curious, but um, I figured I'd show you, I'm gonna be trying a new foundation today. Guys, the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation. I feel like I heard tell of this, but then I never heard about it again. So I was like, did it even happen? They sent it to me in PR. So I have a couple of shades. I wanna see what would maybe be the best. I will say this, the Wet n Wild foundation smell bothers me. I don't know if this smells like it, so we're gonna find out. But that was one thing that bothered me. And then their original, a lot of people love, I it was okay to me. I didn't like love it, but I didn't think it was terrible either. Frankly, it was pretty cheap and it was better than a lot of expensive ones, but it wasn't my favorite. So we're gonna try kind of a few. It does have like a little paddle thing. We're just gonna kind of get an idea of what would be my best shade. So that is porcelain. That looks a little bit closer. This one's shell ivory. And then this next one is soft ivory. I think we can all agree. That's probably the one, yeah. So shell ivory it is. The biggest gripe I had with the old Photo Focus Foundation, that's what it was called, <laughs> was that it was just pretty matte and I just don't love a matte look. What? Sorry, Tyler was like, I don't know why I'm apologizing. <laughs> Who am I apologizing to? Tyler was back working on my computer. He was trying to get some footage from our Disney trip so that way he can edit the vlogs and stuff. Anyway, so we are SPF. So I'm gonna try this. It says hydrates and smooths complexion for a luminous finish. Buildable coverage for normal to dry skin. Shake well before use. I'm gonna try it with a sponge because frankly, that's pretty much how I apply every foundation. I haven't used a brush for foundation in a long time. I just feel like it always looks streaky no matter what I'm using. So I'm just gonna kinda 
probably is a decent color for me actually. Let's just try the cheek and just see how I'm gonna use the clean side of this sponge. Yeah, it's a pretty darn good color match if I'm being honest. Okay, there's no like noticeable smell. Hold on, let me, yeah, there's really not. The coverage right off the bat, I don't know how well you can see it, I know this lighting is awkward, but it definitely has a slightly dewy finish and it, I mean, it covered a lot when you look at no, nothing on that cheek versus with that. Keep in mind, I'm not using a primer or anything. I haven't, I'll use glowy primers a lot of days. I love glowy primers, but with this, I didn't wanna do that because I wanted to see how dewy it was on its own. And then sometimes I'll use like a pore filling one, like the Revlon pore reducing one I like. I'll use that on my nose, but again, I just wanted to see how this is. I don't wear primer every single day. I have nothing bad to say. <laughs> not that, I mean, there's plenty of wet while I love. It's not that I had low expectations, but sometimes, you know, like there are just certain brands that you know can sometimes be hit or miss. And I think wet and one of them. They can have some great hits and they can have some doozies of misses, you know? But I have nothing to say. We'll see how it wears. Of course, I'll show you. Well, you'll get to see throughout the vlog how it's wearing, but I'll try to remember to kind of check in as well tonight specifically for this, but it's covering well. It's got a nice finish. It's not overly dewy. Like the Josie Marin like Argan Oil Foundation, I like that one, but boy, is it like the dewiest thing I've ever tried. I have not, I have tried like seven high-end foundations in the past few months, and I have not really fallen in love with any of them. None of them have this kind of a finish, and this is the finish I'm always looking for. So we'll see how it wears. So another new thing I've been playing with a bit, I figured I would share a bit about the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. Honestly, at this point, I've only used like three or four times. I'm realizing less is more, but I it, it specifically says to use like three dots. Three dots like wasn't enough for me, so I've got a, a little bit more, but definitely you don't want a lot of this, I don't think. But I'm not convinced I love it right around the eye. Like I thought it looked nice the other day when I did it farther down, kind of the way Tati does it where she'll just put concealer like right there and avoids that area and then kind of I think like maybe blends it up into it but I felt like it was a little dark there yesterday when I didn't, so I'm just putting a little bit. I think coverage-wise, if you are way more into coverage and it being really thin, you might like this. I tend to just like a little bit creamier of concealers, and this is not, this is a thin formula. I do think it stays in place pretty darn well, so again, if that's important to you, I mean, I guess that'd be important to all of us. Maybe the finger is the best way. You just gotta give it the finger. <laughs> But again, I don't know that this is totally my cup of tea. I could see myself keeping it and using it. And again, I do feel like wear time wise, it's pretty good. I just feel like if you have dry under eyes, I don't think you'll like it. I don't think it's hydrating enough. You are wanting to spend some money on a concealer. My favorite still, and I might go over this with it, is the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. This one took me by surprise. It is creamy and hydrating and beautiful and a good amount of coverage, like I'd say medium. And I just love it. I have the shade number four in this. I'm about part way through doing my makeup and I open my Kevin Aquan little medium bronzing powder, sculpting powder, and it is shattered. I might repress this because this is not cheap. The uh, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer also shattered in the same drawer. I'm like, what did I do? Did I like throw something into it? I don't know. So I wanted to show you everything in natural lighting. I haven't done my lips yet, but I wore the Marie Antoinette cream shadow. That's all I have on my eyes, like up there and then on my lower lash line. Um, this foundation though, I know I've got like bronzer on now and stuff, but it definitely has a nice sheen. But I feel like color wise, the foundation itself actually matches me. And I'm telling you, I've been struggling with this forever. So we'll see. I do think sometimes I tend to like foundations more if they match me better even if the formula, do you guys, anyone else feel the same way? Like when you find a color that actually looks right on you, you instantly like that foundation more, whether or not you actually like the formula. So I'm gonna see how this wears. I'm trying not to get too excited. Okay, Tyler, <laughs> say it again. I have reached peak millennial. What did you do? I use, I left my phone upstairs and I needed to set a timer. So I used the echo in the kitchen to drop it on my office to tell Siri to set a 10 minute timer. <laughs> You're oh. a genius. I'm laughing. I just finished filming and I'm trying to get all of my empties. I, I have an idea for a thumbnail where I'm going to lay out the trash and I'm trying to leave room for like my head and my shoulders. And then Tyler's going to stand above and get a thumbnail shot. We're going to see how this turns out. I don't know why I'm giggling so hard while I'm doing it, but it's funny to think like, okay, how big is my head? Like, where should I put this? <laughs> I'm trying to see if my head fits. 
<laughs> oh, that's not bad. Ooh, the lighting's weird. What are you doing? How do I look? <laughs> I told Tyler, I'm like, all right, now move things around so it looks more like a pile. <laughs> Although there's so much crap. This is how much stuff I used up. I guess that's a good thing. Also, I know there's going to be like a bunch of comments. People saying, you know, you can just set a timer on the one Echo, right? I'm like, no, but I was going to go outside. So I needed the timer to be on my phone. So you can go ahead and read that comment that you just delete, put on. Delete, delete, delete. And then be like, oh, then I'd watch the second part of the video and I had to go back and update my comment. Anyway, that's all. Pinocchio says, I had better check these things on the floor out. I better check them out, make sure they're okay. Hi, Mr. Waggly Tail. It's lunchtime. I'm kind of doing a working lunch today. Sometimes we'll like take a lunch together downstairs and stuff, but I just have so much to get done because yesterday my birthday was a half work day, if you will. So I'm we're eating pizza because that's what we got last night because that's what I wanted for my birthday naturally. So I'm eating some now I have to go on a run. The thumbnail turned out pretty cute. I might make some adjustments, but I like it. It is now, what is Pinocchio upset about? Oh, how dare a dog walk by on the sidewalk. Anyway, I'm chewing on a cough drop. Sorry if that's annoying. It's okay, bud. It's all white. Anyway, so it's about 3.45 at this point. I usually work till about five. So Tyler's on a run now. I'm gonna try to go on a run here right towards the end of the day because otherwise it won't happen. Today was a bed didn't get made kind of day. So I am thinking because I am, oh, the video finished. See, this is my problem. I'm like, I have too many things to get done and so I don't get any of them done. You know what I mean? Like your brain is frazzled. So I'm gonna start the upload of this video. It's not going live till tomorrow, but I wanna have it already like ready to go because I won't have like true work time tomorrow. So um, I'm gonna get this started. I'm gonna get dressed so that I can go on a run. So the second Tyler gets back, I'll go out not that we, I guess we could both be out on a run. Anyway, <laughs> never thought about that. I'm so used to having her here. The thing is, because it's winter, it starts getting dark early. So it's now 412 and it's already starting to get a little darker. So I'm like, eh, I don't want it to be dark when I'm out running it for a few miles. So, so I'm mostly ready. I'll have this zipped all the way up, but this is, I'm literally, I just realized I'm in head to toe Old Navy. <laughs> I'm like an Old Navy ad without being an ad. I genuinely think the workout clothes are nice and they're affordably priced in my opinion. And Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'll see. I know they like change out stock all the time. So this I got pretty recently. So these are probably still in stock. I don't know. So I'll link what I can, but I love their stuff and I've been liking, I think I got two of these zip up things and they're really nice for cold weather running, but also even just like lounging around the house. They're kind of cute. So yay. Okay, so back from my run. So Tyler got back, ran six freaking miles. I ran four. I can't believe he ran six. He is amazing. I got a, my birthday gift to myself in the mail. So I've been wanting the Darling palette from Charlotte Tilbury. It's expensive. It's the perfect size and I've been really into smaller palettes and these are all colors I would actually wear. I will say based on what it looks like online versus here, this looks a little warmer tone than I would have guessed, but they're still all wearable colors for me. So I'm excited. And then the other thing I bought was Charlotte's Magic Cream. It was expensive for this little like half ounce thing, but I've heard really good things for like a day cream. So I'm excited to try it. This boy wants to go on a walk. Do you want to go for a walk? Okay, come here. Come. Good boy. This boy is so excited. He says I get to get all my sniffs in. I'm hoping I'm in the frame here. I can't tell. Okay, so we're back from our walk. I've got a white claw. This may be the raspberry flavor. My favorite, if you were curious. I don't have them like every night, but tonight I was like, that sounds good. Anyway, so Tyler's out getting Gigi. I figure I would start dinner. I know I'm hungry and I'm sure he is. As I mentioned earlier, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. I'm excited to continue my partnership with them this year in 2020. So if you've never heard of HelloFresh, it is a meal delivery service where you can choose between 22 different chef curated seasonal recipes. They're delivered to your door. I love that they have really easy to follow recipe cards. They're step-by-step -step with pictures. So even if you don't feel confident in the kitchen, it's really easy to follow. I also love that it takes away the meal planning part of my week, which is nice. And most of the meals take under 30 minutes. They even have quick recipes that are 20 minutes and under. So if you're someone that feels like you don't have a ton of time, but you'd like to have home cooked meals throughout the week, this is a great option. And one of the best parts is I love that the ingredients are pre-portioned. There's less food waste. And I love that I never really feel trapped with HelloFresh. You can easily hop online and change your delivery day. You can change your food preferences. You can skip a week if you need to. Tonight's dinner, I'm making the pork and veggie bibimbap. This is one of my favorite recipes from them. I love the sesame and soy flavor throughout this dish. So HelloFresh 
HelloFresh is now from five sixty six per serving. So go to HelloFresh.com and use my code JessicaBron10 during HelloFresh's New Year's sale for 10 free meals, including free shipping. I love how colorful this meal is. It always comes together and looks so nice, but it's even more delicious than you could ever imagine. It's so good. I gotta make the perfect bite. <laughs> It's that same freaking flavor, Tyler. I know. You're gonna love it. It's a sesame oil and the soy sauce. I don't know that I've had it with uh, zucchini and it is so good. And I cooked the zucchini for a while cause I like it to be like floppy. Don't you? No, I like a little crunch. You like a little oh, floppy. Oh, sorry. It's not al dente. <laughs> I cooked it the way I wanted it. Well, yeah. It is so, so chef, good. Chef goes. Chef ways goes. Chef, chef says goes. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good, chef. All right. <laughs> yes, chef. What's that show? No, every t show on every, television right every now. Every cooking show. Okay, you right, you right. Hosted by Gordon Ramsay. No, it's, like, it's always Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> and she has insisted on continuing to wear her hat and mittens, and of course, found her bracelets in her little kitchen. I took her hat off, and she went, uh, 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 and made me put it back on her. This, by the way, was one of her Christmas gifts that we built a little bit after Christmas. So y'all, if you watch Vlogmas, you didn't see it actually built. It's pretty cute. So I think we're gonna watch the next episode of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Can't believe it's already been three seasons. I know, it's so good. It gets better every season. Yeah, it really does. He's watching the show with us. <sighs> okay, it is like nine, or I know it's 10. I'm actually, I've got kind of a tension headache because of my just, you know, having a sort of head cold. Um, so I don't know if you guys all do this, but like the little sinus rinse things where you put like a little saline packet in the water and you actually, it's like purified, it's clean water and then you warm it up in the microwave just so it's a little more comfortable. And then you put it in one of these things and you replace these every so often and you just kind of shake it up to make a solution. And then you literally over a sink squirt it in your nose and it comes out the other side. I know it sounds weird and it feels weird, but I'm really prone to sinus infections. And so this helps a lot in preventing them. So I'm just about to go to bed, but quickly I figured I'd show you what I'm using to double cleanse right now. I've been using the Fourth Ray Beauty BFD cleansing oil. I actually do like this stuff. I typically prefer a balm but honestly, cleansing oils work pretty well and it's fast because you don't have to like dig the balm out. I'm still finishing up the La Roche-Posay Tolerion Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. Sorry, I'm being quiet because Gigi's asleep and also my throat is hurting. I need a good night's sleep, y'all. I have exhausted myself today. I completely forgot to mention <clears throat> this empty, in my empties video that you saw, this is the Vichy Lift Active Peptide C. I really liked it. This is probably literally the last night. So it's so funny that I forgot to do it, but I like this again. This has a strong smell though, and I'm not totally certain that I love the smell. But since I don't have enough of that Vichy stuff, I'm using the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion, which I do like to kind of do my neck and backs of my hands. And then I'm putting on an oil. This is the May Love Love 31 that I mentioned. I freaking adore. It's really pricey, but it is so good. I did do a sponsored post with them. This is not sponsored. They don't know I'm bringing it up. I just love it. It's part of my routine. So it's literally the next day. I forgot to like tell you how the foundation wore. So I put it on again today. I know this isn't the same as a check-in, but I just wanted to show you quickly before I like finish editing this video. I am enjoying it. The second time on, it looks really, really nice. Sorry, I just like dry shampooed my hair. So I'm just like letting it sink in before I, so I have like slightly gray. Hair. It's really nice you guys. I do think like it wore off a little bit around my nose here and there like most foundations do But it still looked really nice now I did set it with a powder today I set it with a translucent powder yesterday. I set it with like a press powder I'll definitely be doing some reviews in about a month on quite a few products I'll be trying this month so you'll hear my kind of more final thoughts on it, but I'm enjoying it so far I'm gonna be wearing it a lot in the next month and I'll let you know my final shot thoughts in the future Okay back to the past. I hope you guys enjoyed today's day in the life. Let me know what you want to see next time. Um, if you have any video ideas that you're itching for me to do, please let me know. I love you all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.